Hello and welcome to Maze Games in Game Maker. My name is Sanyan, I am a teacher and a robotics engineer, and this course is a collaboration between myself and a friend of mine called Nat Bradshaw. Now, Nat Bradshaw is also a teacher, but he has been involved with Game Maker for much longer than I have. He actually wrote four books on the topic, did a lot of conference presentations. So, Nat and I interact a lot in this course and you guys will get the benefit from it because a lot of the core concepts are really flushed out from the point of view of myself who knows a lot of other programming languages and him who's an expert in game maker. Now, let me summarize the course. In the first module, we are going to cover core concepts, which are movement dynamics. So we're gonna get a hero into a room, which is a two dimensional space. The hero is gonna move in two dimensions he will also interact with various objects like walls. So he won't be able to go past walls, he's sort of gonna bump into them. And to do this, we're gonna implement, you know, regular program logic such as if-else statements. In the very next module, we are already going to have a working maze game. You're gonna have your character going around the maze, he will be collecting gems, and those gems are gonna be tracked by a variable called score. In module three, things get very interesting. So we have parent-child relationships, which are exactly like classes in object-oriented programming. We're gonna have templates for gems, which will make us produce various different kinds of gems. Templates for monsters, which are then going to create monsters of different speeds, health, various characteristics. You're gonna have first initial monsters with some artificial intelligence. In the fourth module, we're gonna have advanced monsters, which can follow us around the maze. We're gonna have a health uh, variable. So that means that when we bump into monsters, we lose health and we also have a physical reaction such as freezing or bouncing off of monsters. And finally, in this module, we also create additional rooms, which means that our character can now go from level to level to level. And in theory, at least, we have infinite space in our game world. Finally, in the fifth module, we create animations for everything. So our character is gonna be animated, he's gonna look like he's running, we're gonna have monsters that are animated, and every time you finish a level, there will be explosions allowing you to get into the next one. So that more or less summarizes it. I can't wait to see you guys in there, and I hope you have fun. Bye.